What's up guys, this is the Brethren and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War Let's Play as the Ottoman Empire. So to round off where we left off, we are continuing our duel against the Persian forces because they seemingly are determined, seemingly are determined to um, pump out more troops than the Russians did during the Second World War. So to my friend in the comments that talked about how infiltrating an area does not mean you get to see get to see all their armies it seems like the subtle nuance is that you get to see the entire region so we do get to see all their armies moving around in within our current line of sight so we did lose baghdad but our forces are ready to move against them to recapture it you're also in position ready to respond to this army we've got a militia here trying to provide some sort of garrison well, I'm not I'm not sure what's good at providing garrison bonus for the Ottoman Empire I mean do they even get dragoons I don't know there's no need, no need to really recruit seminaries because we've not got as much of a problem yet although we will do actually we're about to get industrialization one and clamor for reform is about to go up so I'm probably going to want Hmm. Feline, anyway? Well, Feline at least are a ch fairly cheap unit. So I might just get a Feline unit to sit there in town. 2,800, so running out of. We've, we've getting less money because of the loss of Yerevan and also the loss of Baghdad. It might be worth actually trying to temporarily get a peace with Georgia. <laughs> they want me to give them Turkey. No. But once this army destroys this army up here, they are probably going to move north to retake Georgia. Although, well, I'll hit and turn first. Actually, let's check our research. Yeah, those seem reasonable. We're one turn off getting the drill school. So let's hit and turn. Um. I wouldn't mind making peace with Georgia so that I could focus on the Persians first and foremost and then gather my forces to go up and kill my enemies to the north as well. Um, the fact they're demanding Anatolia kind of suggests that they may seek to push towards Anatolia if I let them have enough time to gather their forces. So they've already the Persians are already splitting up their troops. It would appear that I must recruit more troops in my capital in order to chase down their marauding forces. Although thankfully, it seems like none of their forces have moved up from southern Iraq to help with their main nuisance operations. So we've got common land enclosures, so we can upgrade farms. That's probably a good idea, because farms are fairly cheap. Although I'm probably going to want to build up... Would I move you around like this to engage them later on? Well, I want, regardless, I want to get these guys replenished and put Baghdad under siege. He's reinforcing. These camels can move up to reinforce. Okay, let's upgrade this craft workshop in Damascus. Or actually, now might be a good time to start upgrading my government buildings. Because right now, that's something I've not really done. So I think it is better to go around upgrading farms. Not the winery just yet, because the winery is a bit expensive. Now Lats can get a building. Could upgrade the coffee house, but I don't think there's really a need for it at the minute. Don't need an artillery building either. Hmm. Do we get more fishing fleet? Or do we just go straight for this vineyard because it increases the rate of population growth? 
which means you'll get more towns quicker. Or do I spend it on troops? Either way, I'm going to hit this army with my force. And let's attack. So if we got much... Oh, it's a pity, really. We've got one cavalry unit, and that's my general. So primarily... Well, camels and cavalry, because camels are okay chasing down units. Cavalry are better for doing that. Camels, the, um, the redeployment around the map faster. So we've got much more artillery than they do, so they could... Actually, if I just deploy them as a, as a big battery... together get my Isaroides and my Felain to form up on the left no, maybe not that far out come on there we go get up Bashis on one flank Felain on the other Semenes back general behind them when attacking an enemy we're still not do you need to move my lamp so it faces behind the screen hopefully all my guns are going after their guns Lots of desert warriors, they're going to do lots of... Oh, they were, they were going after the camels. Going to make sure the Feline have guard mode on, because I don't want them running around. This is so much to kill ten of their own bowmen. And they're aiming after Feline behind my lines. Let's hit a training team. Killed one man. Although we've got to remember we are on the offensive, so... Artillery's still not. Oh, okay, so we have got their guns. Good. Let's run that unit of Viscerolis to make sure they don't get hit. So I'm a bit concerned on this flank. They've got no nothing to support attacks from. Well, nothing really to support the defence of my guys from the camels. But I do have lots of melee infantry, should they wish to make a go of it. So let's put this under speed 2. Because right now it's just a lot of deployment games. So when I move up, I'm going to need to be fairly quick. Because they're... Oh wait, no, they're coming at us. Particularly this Felain. Because these guys can't form square. Okay. Oh, there you go. They're coming into firing range. Bashi, Feline, get back. So their camels haven't charged, but they're happy to sit out there and be shot at. Okay. 
because I am happy to oblige. Charles the Bowman with my... Charles the Bowman with my um, Bashies. I guess we're engaging the Desert Warriors. You guys deploy like so, so you don't kill your Bashies. Bashi Bazook's going to have a grand time with those bowmen. These guys are upset. Pushing up. Shift the artillery target onto the Camel Nomads, but it doesn't look like it's going to matter very much. Come on, Bashies. Move up. Bashes might go and engage the Desert Warriors. You are still within musky range of the Desert Warriors. Why are the guns? Okay, so the, oh, so the gun team is still in action, I see. These guys, these bowmen are going to get shot to bits. Too bad a lot of their troops are going to successfully escape. So you engage them, you engage them. You charge after them. The cavalry can get ready to move further in. This kind of stuff, who do you want to get? Feline Musketeers are who we want. Send my Bashis to engage to the west. So you want the Feline Musketeers? Pivot these guys to make sure they're not shooting into the back of our bashies like I think they are. Let's get the artillery to pound that unit of desert warriors. I believe that will soon be it. Don't worry, soon we will get fire by rank and then we will sweep the Persians off of them. continue but it's mostly going to be uh, triple speed seeing what the this general unit is capable of so yeah it might might be a good idea to build some to recruit some cavalry units to support opportunities like this to chase them down There's one guy all the way over here, all on the edge, but actually we might get them. As long as I keep updating them and telling them to attack. Yeah, so they've... Yeah, there's one guy all the way out here that's going to escape. Pity. Yeah, it was a, it was a close victory, um, but it was against a very small force. So we st still lost 400 men, which was, wasn't very good, but we destroyed half of their army so hopefully they will hopefully they will combine we can successfully reorganize or, re or rebuild our forces here and also recruit a unit of mamelukes i want these guys to push down the river 
How does this army look? It's pretty... Pretty depleted. I think we might take it. Before... Please move up to support from the south. I think that's probably a good idea. So we don't get any surprises. So let's see. Okay, a lovely high terrain feature. Let's form a, a an Israeli line here. Let's form another infantry line to the west. Put the Janissaries behind my Israeli line. Put my Riskers of Souls and my Bashi Bazooks behind my left line. Camel unit for each flank. And my general in the centre. So these guys march up and deploy here. It looks like they might be going after my camels on the other on the flank. On the, on the on the right flank. It's their general though, so they've got more to lose than I have. Don't want to charge my general's bodyguard over. It's a bit of a risky strategy. Because we outnumber them. So if we accept we lose men at the same rate, they'll lose theirs before I will. Let's move my Janissaries on the right. Move them up. And the General can go here to provide a, a morale bonus for my cavalry. Yeah, we're doing much... We're doing a lot. We're doing pretty well. Okay, so right-click again so we kill them when they route through us. There goes their general for the attempt of a strategic gain. Here comes a small unit of horsemen. Okay, let's redeploy our artillery slightly. Dare you deploy your horsemen? It looks like you do. do. It looks like you do dare. So my men are in position. This is already green Baghdad. I could have serious, serious misconceptions about what Baghdad's like. So they successfully charged us, but we're fighting cavalry. So camels win. You guys halt fire there. Kurdish hillmen. Not the best time for you guys to pop up when I'm trying to redeploy. Run right up into their faces. Do you pound that central position? You guys hit. Camel Gunners, you guys hit this unit of garrison musketmen arriving to the west. Is this cavalry fight still going on? direction I see the cavalry advance. No, nope. but they've suffered too much damn. So too much damage. What should occupy this building or is this a stuck unit? Can you bring down this building? Take this wing, stretch them out a bit more. Get 
Campbell's out on the flank. They're not going to be directly in range. Well, actually, they're advancing into us, which is nice. Okay, let's move. Let's pivot this flank more directly into the action. It looks like they're completely breaking on the right flank. Let's bring in the Felain. Around the flank. So the Levy is starting to charge. As the first volleys go in. This artillery piece engaged this big central block. Camels go and engage the musketmen, so I don't want them to get any ideas about reforming their line. Brush my cavalry out, my infantry out. They are abandoning their position in the town. Pull my cavalry back. Pull my <laughs> camels back, I should say. Let's close this position up. Let's retarget the troops. Camels around the flank to get ready to hit the eleventh quarter, like now. There they're being fired upon from pretty much every direction. Come on, Mon General. Complete collapse. So you guys engage them. You guys are trying to chase down. Actually, don't chase down the levy unit. Chase down this Israeli unit. I'm bringing in my general. To be honest, this is going to. This is a bit of big collapse. This auto unit's going to rout. Yep. Actually, where's that cavalry? Oh, absolutely. Continue. Continue the slaughter, top fire with the artillery, and just let my mounted units do most of the work. Not that it matters, we've taken the city, so we don't really have to worry about making sure we kill them all. We're doing it to send a message. Routed. Okay, let's just send them after a certain unit. They're going to route. They might not, but to be honest, lots of them are going to route because they've re retreating through the city. They've taken all sorts of directions. Just let them do what. Where are you going? That's what I was going to say. Just send everyone to take out this last unit because that guy's going to route for sure. So now this unit of 44 is Sorelli, but the last unit's on the board. Go get them, cavalry. Although it looks like they're deliberately trying to do a bad job of it. Decisive victory. Damn right. So we've taken... With a serious punch, we lost 130 men in the capture of that city. 
We're in a very good position to to re retain it as well. So we've got an army to the north that might cause some troubles, but we've got an army to the north as well that will be moving south rapidly. So let's try and get trade with Austria. We may as well try, because they're on our border and we're not at war. Okie dokie, so who's got the best guys for military tech? Industry, industry and enlightenment, nothing, nothing. Military, plus one to research, so Caseri's probably the, technically the best for this. Six turns, you carry on with government by consent, because you're only one turn off. Sweet. Hello, Poland. Yeah, no winged hussars yet. But soon. Let's hit enter. It would be rather typical now for Britain to attack us. Although, what are you doing? There's a British army in the middle of Austria. Or Austrian territory. How peculiar. Damn, I can't wait to start spreading some Ottoman influence across the seas. That's right, Persia's going to do some blockading probably of me. I oh, know they're going to blockade Ost... I don't know who they're going to blockade. But yeah, they're pumping out lots of troops. But remember, in six turns, we're going to do fire by rank. And we will absolutely be wrecking them. Unless they will need it, actually. They are, con they are converging their forces around Baghdad, but we're going to have some cash to replenish those armies. We just need to make sure we can destroy them on the battlefield when the time comes. So our economy is not quite so robust, because um, we're not earning as much money, but we are in a fairly stable position, um, military-wise. Happy to let the Barbary States just do what the Barbary States want to do. Yep, so they're raiding around Iraq. Bringing our armies down south quickly. I can't remember why I dismantled you. Let's rebuild Baghdad's buildings. I really don't remember. Unless it wasn't me, it might have been them. I don't want to rebuild too much stuff down here in case they feel tempted to go south. Okay, let's pull... No, let's keep this unit of camels, actually. Can I move this unit of camels up to the army of Mosul here? Then do I send them to attack Masoud bin Agohazazap? Or... To move them to the bridge. Ah, they intercepted us. But it's actually quite a. S this army's pretty weak. This army's pretty. not beefy, but it's pretty good. But if I fight this battle, it'll put us over our turn. or over our turn timer quite significantly. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the continuing adventures of the Ottoman Empire, where we will continue to push east against the Persians. Cheers, everyone.